And we're going to talk about the volume of spheres and hemispheres. I'm going to show under the document camera our school calculators how to, because we have this exponent here, this big thing I want you guys to understand. We're going to highlight it real quick. We now have an exponent of three, so we're going to be doing, we're going to be cubing the radius instead of squaring. We are three dimensional, and we're dealing with these circles. And I'll show you on this, those calculators we have at our school as well as the Desmos Scientific Calculator app uh, exactly how to get these radiuses cubed. So let's go ahead and start off. We are going to go. We are going to also be doing in terms of pi as well as um, rounded. So you guys will see that as well. We'll have two different answers for each problem. So let's go ahead and kick in and gear here. We're going to notice that the only thing that we need from our image uh, for our formula is going to be the radius. So here we'll go ahead and note that our radius here they were given it to us. So we have 28. So we plug into this formula here really nice and simple. We have that 4 over 3, the 4 thirds, then we have pi, and then we enter in our radius. Please put, I suggest put it in parentheses. We have 28, and we need to put the cubed up there, okay? So in terms of pi, okay, again, in terms of pi means you're going to put everything in the calculator except for the pi symbol. So with our school calculators here, we're going to press the control divide button and we're going to get our fraction function and I want to type in that four on top and then the three on bottom. Very important to scroll over to the right to get out of the fraction and then we're going to have this 28 cubed. We're leaving the pi out of it for right now. I'm going to open, open up parentheses and put in 28. Now next to, let's see where was it at, down here next to your x squared button you're going to have this little arrow up. Okay, what that's going to do is it's going to tell you, hey, I want to go up to the exponent place, and now you can put in whatever exponent you want. In this case, just type in the 3, and so we have it to the third. So this is going to give us our, our uh, volume in terms of pi. Now we have this. So what we can do is in these calculators, you can press Control Enter. Make sure you, you do not see that this has been divided again. Make sure you see the exact same thing. So here, round to the nearest tenth we're going to wind up with, in terms of pi, uh, 29,269.3 pi, and then we have feet, and volume, as we talked about before, is cubed. Now, if we want to go exact, what's great with these calculators is you can just press control, and then the negative sign right here, if you press control, negative sign, it's going to say ANS, so we have our answer, and then we can just say, times and again our pi symbol down here next to the h press it and then we press our enter and so it's just saying the answer we had right here times pi we press enter now we have the answer without being in terms of pi so we have 91,952.3 feet cubed so we have both answers in terms of pi and rounded to the nearest tenth Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one here. Oh, let me also show you. I'll show you in the next one, the Desmos Scientific Calculator. On number two, we need to understand here that this is the diameter. We don't want the diameter. We want the radius. The radius will be half of this, which will be 9.9. .9. So we're going to be using 9.9 .9 in our formula. Our volume is going to equal 4 thirds pi. We're going to go ahead and plug in our radius cubed, 9.9 .9 cubed to the third power. And then again, we'll go through and I'll show you the Desmos calculator now how to do this. When we have our Desmos calculator to get our fraction, we're going to have this AB right underneath the wrench all the way to the right. We have this A over B. You're going to press that. You want to put 4 in the top. You're going to need to tap your screen to get down to the denominator and press the 3. Now, just like with our our school calculators, this arrow over here all the way to the right, you're going to press that to make sure you get out of that fraction. Again, we're going to wait on the pi symbol, so we're going to open parentheses and watch what happens here. We're going to put 9.9. .9. You're going to go to this function button, okay? You go to the function button, you're going to see an A to the B power right here next to the square root. A to the B power, press that, it's going to go up to the exponent. You go back to main, so we have our numbers, and you press 3. And there we go. We're going to have our answer already there. Don't even have to press enter. In terms of pi, the volume will be 1,293.7 pi. We're in inches, so it will be inches cubed. 
So with the Desmos, what you can now do is a couple options. You can press enter or leaving everything, you can scroll over with this left arrow button. I mean, you can even do it afterwards, but if you want to insert that pie right here before you get back in here, you can press that pie symbol. And now we have, we just insert that pie in there with that. It says this great thing about the Desmos, if you don't press enter, you can go and you can change everything and still see your change and answer there. So here, round to the nearest tenth, not in terms of pie, we will have 4,064.4. Okay, that, that seven is going to tell us around that three up to the nearest tenths, and we'll have inches cubed. Okay. So I encourage you to look back at what we did okay, with the calculators, whichever calculator you're able to be using um, to do the rest of these calculations. Here, uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Number three, they're giving us the radius of 17. So I always like to write down what it is that we need, R. So our volume equal to 4 thirds pi. Our radius 17, we're going to put in 17 again cubed to the third power. And the calculator, we're going to type in that four thirds and then just type in the 17 cubed again over here. Let me clear this out. Type in control divide to get four over three. Scroll out of the fraction. I'm going to open parentheses. We have 17. The cubed button again is this little arrow in English called a carrot. But we got this little arrow up that tells us, hey, I want to go up to the exponent, then type in three. And then we have, again, here, we just press control divide. And then we can have this in terms of pi rounded. Your volume is equal to 6,550.7. Again, the 7 is going to tell us to bump that 6 up. Don't forget your pi symbol because we are in terms of pi. And you have yards cubed. Again, with this calculator, we could just press control, the negative button. So this is A and S. So control the negative button, we have answer, and then we could just type in the pi symbol, and we wind up with two, uh, sorry, 20,579.5 yards cubed. Okay, so again, in terms of pi, and the uh, round to the nearest tenth, which I know they're both rounded to the nearest tenth, but... Let's take a look at hemispheres. The only thing that changes on hemispheres is going to be the, um, the fraction because a hemisphere is half of a sphere. So we're going to take half of four thirds, half of four thirds, two thirds. So we still have this cubed. Again, the only thing that has changed is now we have a two in the numerator. So we'll jump straight into it here. We're looking for our radius. We see here they gave us our radius of 24.6 it's now changing that fraction but everything else stays the same we now have two-thirds pi plug in our radius cubed 24.6 cubed the little three back on the desmos to show you that cleared everything out i'm going to type in that a over b all the way on the right hand side and i'm going to put two on top this time go down to the Get it to the right place here. That's what's tough on the phones. There we go. Two thirds. I'm going to use the arrow underneath the AB, A over B, to get out of the fraction. I'm leaving the pi out because I want it in terms of pi. 24.6. Okay. Go to the function button. The A to the B exponent, A to the B power. Go back to main and type in three. And there, I'm not going to press enter so I can insert the pi symbol in just a little bit. But here, our volume in terms of pi would be that 9,924.6 pi, don't forget pi, inches cubed. Now with this, I can just go over. I mean, honestly, like I said earlier, you can scroll outside the parentheses right here, and you, know, you can close those parentheses, and then you can just insert that pi symbol there, and it works. Pi, it does, because we're multiplying, it doesn't matter what order they go in. And then here we have that 31,179.1 inches cubed. Again, with the rest, I encourage you to, once we have it set up, please practice on the calculator by yourself because I'm going to shorten the video by not putting 
the um, calculator underneath the, calc underneath the document camera anymore because we've already looked at it. Here we're given the diameter is 20. We don't want the diameter, we want the radius of 10. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in, we're doing hemispheres, so 2 thirds pi. Plug in your radius of 10 cubed. Okay, please pause it, plug it in the calculator yourself, practice, rewind, look what I did. Either calculator that you have access to right now. Okay, when we do this in terms of pi, we will come up with 666.7 pi yards cubed. When we plug in, again, you got it, pause it, go back and plug in that pi if you did not already so we can get our rounded answer as well. We get 20, uh, sorry, 2,094.4 yards cubed. Also remember, whenever you're doing in terms of pi, you're not plugging in the pi symbol, it's going to always be smaller than once you plug that pi symbol in, always. All right, last one, they gave us flat out the radius of 23. So we have volume equals 2 thirds pi times 23 to the third. Again, pause, go type it in yourself, either calculator. Okay, that way you've got that practice because you're going to need to know how to do that on your own. Here, after we have in terms of pi without typing the pi symbol in, 8,111.3 pi yards cubed. Again, do not forget pi there. And now once we plug the pi symbol in, we're going to end up with 25,482.5 yards cubed. Practicing that calculator is going to be very, very important, so you could do it on your own on quizzes, tests, and other assignments. Please ask your teacher if you have any other questions or search YouTube for volume of spheres and hemispheres.